So there's a problem in my RV I want to take care of, and it's in the shower. Whenever we take a shower, water seems to leak out of the sides here and onto the floor. I think this one seems to be the best design. On the inside, this part comes out, curves out, and comes out so that when water goes down here, the water will flow down into the tub. Whereas most of the other models I saw, there were flat pieces. In other words, on the inside, what it looks like is this. On the inside, it's going to look like this, just flat. And that's where there's a tendency for the water to just stay and grow mold and mildew. But this one is actually on this side, so the curved side will be on the inside. And this goes on this side. And the instructions say to put some silicone on the bottom, glue it down, and then fill in the gap here with silicone as well. The problem I have on the RV is that there's this trim piece right here that prevents this piece to sit flush on the wall. So there's one of two ways to take care of this. I could either cut this portion out. There's a other option where I could cut this trim piece around here and it will sit in flush. And that's the method I think I'm going to do. So I've been taking some scribes here, and I set the depth. Now I'm going to follow this trim piece here. And then I connected the lines on the bottom, and that's what I'm going to cut out. Okay, this is what I got. Let's go see how it looks in the trailer. It looks good on this side, but I could tell the other side doesn't fit right. So I need to take a little bit more off the top. Okay, I remarked it, and that's how much I need to cut off. I'll be right back after I cut that. Alright, that took me about 9 tries, but I got it to fit the way I like it. So I need to do that for this side. Okay, so I got the right side cutout done too. This one went a lot faster than the first, but this one's all set to go. I put some tape down here as a guideline to line up the splash guard even with the edge of the shower. I'll be using GE Supreme Silicone too. Okay, I got the silicone on. It's time to put it on. Okay, that's it for tonight. I'm going to let the silicone dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll fill in the, the edges to finish the install. Okay, it's the next day now, and the silicone's dried. So what I did was I went ahead and taped the edges, and I'm going to put some caulk in. I don't know why, but tooling silicone caulk is the hardest thing in the world for me. But anyway, I'm done.
It doesn't look perfect, but it should be waterproof. These splash, uh, water splash catchers work really well. It catches a lot of the water.